All right then, so last entry, will it be any good? Or will I have another pop up moment where like, you know, the last game of the series is like, you know, probably the worst. But we'll see how this basically goes for Pajan Jam 4. Dr. Grime, your nefarious forces of refuse have once again been overcome by those of good and cleanliness. For, For I, I am Pajama Man, man friend, friend of the, the good, good foe of, of evil. evil. Pajama man. man! Gee, that was an exciting episode. Pajama Man is the greatest. Oh well, time to turn off the TV. Stay tuned for an important news flash. Pajama Man fans everywhere can meet Pajama Man in person. Today only, Pajama Man will be signing autographs at a shopping mall near you. Wow! I can go meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Oh boy! <laughs> Pajama Man's at the mall and he's signing autographs and we can go meet him if you can drive me. Can we go? Can we go? Mom? Okay, calm down, Sam. I guess I have a few things I could get at the mall. Why don't you go up to your room and pick out something for your hero to sign? I'll make up my shopping list. Oh, boy! Thanks, Mom. I know an autograph is just somebody writing their name. But if I'm going to meet Pajama Man, I've got to have just the right thing for him to sign. Ooh! And I know just what that is. Ugh. Oops, I think I knocked over some stuff. I should probably put some of this stuff away. Maybe later. I want Pajama Man to sign my best comic book. My rare first issue of Pajama Man, which is... Not here? Oh, no. My mint condition extra collectible Pajama Man issue number one is gone. My favorite comic book is missing. There it goes. Oh no! Something or someone pulled it down into that big pile of junk! I don't know what nefarious forces are at work here, but I gotta get my comic book back. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! All I need is my cape. Oh boy. I can play finally! Wow, that would take that took forever. Rat! This isn't my cape. You know, his voice sounds different. I wonder if someone was different is like, you know, voice acting like, you know, Pajama Sam here. Yay! I found my cape! go after my comic book. Beware evil doers and stealers of stuff. Here comes Pajama Sam. <laughs> Pajama Sam, life is rough when you lose your stuff. Ta-da! All right, well, this is very much a throwback to the first, like, you know, pup put or not pup but Pajama Sam title. Hello, little sock. My name's Sam. Hi, Sam. You sound sad. Is everything okay? Well, now that you mention it, no. What's wrong? Is it something I could help you with? It's a sad situation. I suppose the best way to explain it is this. A sock out on his own is like a sea without a shore. 
And cause I got some mud on me, I can't get in my drawer. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair. I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing, is it? Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we are a pair apart? Part of a pair has been my noble goal. Alone I'm less than half. Together more than whole. They say there's no place for me. I'm so clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we're a pair? Now do you understand my position? I think so. You're sad because you can't be together with the other blue sock, because you're dirty and the other one's clean. Right. Now you're starting to think like a sock. We clothes get very sad when we're not in pairs. Hats don't come in pairs. That's why you never see a happy hat. Oh. Well, why don't you come along with me? Maybe I can help get you and the other sock back together. Do you really mean that? Pajama Sam is on the job. I'm missing something I care about very much, too. My Pajama Man comic book. I saw a comic book. An old half-eaten cheese sandwich came by here just a little bit ago carrying a comic. He said somebody named Dr. Grime was signing autographs at the Grubby Corners Mall, and he wanted this Dr. Grime to sign it. Oh my gosh! I have to find it! If Dr. Grime touches it, it'll be filthy forever! Come on, little sock! I have to find the Grubby Corners Mall! All right, well, I haven't had much uh, opportunity to play this game, and like you know, that's kind of a you know, um, I guess it's good for a little kid. Hey, one of my Pajama Man trading cards. I'd better pick that up. Oh, good. We're actually gonna get like a breakdown of like all the like you know the villains of like you know Pajama Man, I guess. So there's Earthquaker. Hello. Hi. My name is Sam. Sam, will you be my friend? It's very lonely being the only sock without a companion. Sure, little sock. I'll be your friend. I'm going to try to find a way to get your matching sock clean so that you can get back together. Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. All in a day's work for a superhero. There's a trading card. All right, here's our villain, the Dust Devil. Well, let's just push on, I guess. So we got food, maybe something that way, and then trash. Let's go this way first. Hey, look! Another trading card! Here is Captain Jelton. I wonder if it's like a bad guy or a good guy.
Go oh, check, is there any cars here? Yes, there is. We missed this one already up here. Aha! Uh -huh. The pajama mobile! Those are some big raisins! You sure are heavy! If these heavy raisins were on the eating end, I'll bet that whatever was on the other end of the spoon would go flying! Putting the raisins on the eating end would make the other end of the spoon flip up. If something were on the other end, I'll bet it would go flying. Putting the raisins on the eating end would make the other end of the spoon flip up. If something were on the other end, I'll bet it would go flying. Gee, someone forgot to eat the last of their cereal. There we go. So that's probably how we like get past this part here. Well, let's go out off on like a little journey, I guess. Whoa! Hey. Whoa! Whoa! That was very much a throwback to like the first game. Hey, there's a yo-yo. I could use a new yo-yo. Hmm, I think it's sort of stuck. Maybe I can yank it free. Oops. Well, at least I got half a yo-yo. Too bad it's not the half that spins. Oh well, I might as well save the string. It could come in handy at any time. I never know when I might be faced with the string emergency. You know, I started complaining about this in like the you know, like the Papa series, but you know, the voice of the character really does make the character. Oh well. What's this way? Actually, before I go back, let's go check for cards. There's one right here. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card. There's the Malevolent mo Molecules. And Pajama Man! I thought for a moment I'd be able to click this stuff back here, but I guess Pajama not. Pajama Man is the flannel garbed guardian. Oh, cool. So I actually click these guys, get their, like, you know, descriptions. There are so many peanuts in that bag. I bet nobody would notice if one was missing. Well, just got that peanut. The peanut, the misunderstood nut. Those fireflies sure are pretty. They glow like night lights. This is my collection of Pajama Man trading cards. All right, so we got to like go back to look at them, I guess. Yep, there we go. Ah, so basically, we're gonna click this basically to look at our cars in here. So. Yellow button basically brings it back into here. Purple button takes us out. Pajama Man is the flannel garbed guardian of Metro City and is the bravest and best dressed crime fighter around. He never takes off his pajamas, not even in the bathtub. His only weakness is that he is vulnerable to open trap doors. Pajama Man first appeared in issue number one, The Secret Origin of Pajama Man. 
and has appeared in every issue since then, with the exception of issue number 384, when he was on vacation. Favorite snack? Anything, as long as it's bedtime snack. Look All right, off we go. In this dresser. It's a long way up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. How's this work, I wonder? Hope Mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. Bring on the next drawer. Yipe! Okay, I get the idea. You have to like, sort of climb up above falling. Look at all the drawers in this dresser. It's a long way up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. Phew! I'm coming up in the world. Don't because I knocked you down. I'm a climb. Yipe! Look at all the drawers in this drawer. Well, let's try again. It's a long way up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. They call me the dresser climber. Hope Mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. Bring on the next drawer. I made it all the way to the top. Well, up we are here. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. Up oh, here's darkness. So, who, um, if you basically like, recall for, like the first one, darkness was of course like you know the first villain that like you know, um, we were basically going after in like the first game. Though it turned out to not be a villain for like you know Pajama Sam. That fishnet would be useful for catching any sort of critter smaller than me. Hey, there's a sponge! You sure look squishy. That's because I'm a sponge! That's what I thought. You're a bright boy! I'm Pajama Sam! And I'm a sponge! I'm a sponge! I know. Gosh, you're smart! That's a big fire truck! And shiny too! Wow! What a cool fire truck! I love fire trucks! That fire truck's a lot cooler than my dad's brown car! Up we go, I guess. Hey look! Another trading card! Hero Sandwich! Alright, so I guess that's like an arrow of the, uh, like, you know, superheroes? Hi, Sponge! Oh, hi, Sam! Do you have any mold for me to eat? No, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't even have a cheese sandwich. If you see me, will you come back and get me? I so love mold. You got it. So he wants mold, I guess. Now here's a stupid question, but do I have to climb back up here when I want to get back here? There's a trading card! The remote remover! Oh, let's go back, I guess. Alright, so we're back here now.
I think it's much like the first game, we have like the option of like, you know, quickly like, getting back up here by like, just clicking out like this, once we solve the puzzle. Whoa! So that's done. Wow! Cool! Is that your crane? Well... I get to drive it, but they won't let me take it home at night. Aww. Yeah, the boss has a policy about not letting us borrow anything that can be used to knock down his house. What's this crane used for? Well, it's supposed to be used for clearing that junk over there. But one of the control levers got busted and lost. I can move the crane this way. And this way. But without the other lever, I can't pick up that stuff. And it's just piling up. I'll keep my eyes peeled for something we can use as a lever. Thanks a bunch. The sooner I get the crane fixed, the sooner I can go on my coffee break. Aha! Thunder! So Thunder, of course, I guess is like, you know, if you play like the, like the second game, I guess Thunder and Lightning were like, you know, the people that they sort of met to sort of like, you know, stop the nasty water outside. But they turned out to be fairly nice, of course. Alright, so I guess we can't go through here until we get the lever for this guy. Hello, I'm Sam. Why, what a nice young man you are. I'm Grandma Sweater. I'm almost through with this copy of Knitting Weekly if you want to borrow it. No, thank you. I don't knit. You don't knit? Oh, that's a shame. In the good old days, everyone liked to knit. Another card! Royal Jelly. Hello. 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 My name's Sam. What are your names? Hello. 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 Would you have any yarn I might knit with? I'm sorry, but I don't have any yarn. Oh, phooey. You must like to knit a lot. Young man, when you're my age, you only like three things. Ribbon candy, applesauce, shuffleboard, and canasta. But that's four things. Well then, I'll give up canasta. Oh, if only I could go back to the good old days when everything was clean and yarn was a penny a ton. Grandma said she needs yarn. That piece of yo-yo string won't work. Alright, so she needs yarn. Your guys needs the lever. We need to get someone with some mold. That's a long drop down. I'd better not try it. Let's do a quick check, but is there any mold basically in these, like, you know, places here, I guess? That's one big pile of trash! Wow! I get the feeling that this is not the way we go, so... I've already got a peanut. I'm sure the others aren't any different. Guess you don't care about the che that cheese there. Alright, so once we solve the puzzle, we don't have to worry about basically, like, you know, um, that minigame basically get back up here. 
You always realize something, by the way. We're just gonna go back up here for a moment. By the way, I look by if I press like the you know, space key or anything like that. Apparently, we can't skip these animations, so we're back to having like you know unskippable animations again for like you know Pajama Sam here. Kind of like we did for like the last like you know Pup Pup like series. I guess they did it on purpose, like kids can like just like skip through like the game real fast. The little fireflies go right through the net. I'll have to catch them with something else. So can't catch them with this apparently. All right, good know. That's not going to do me any good. <laughs> All right, time to get back down. Head on elsewhere. So that's like the first like area of like, our game here, I guess. Let's continue on to the next the next area here, I guess. So welcome to Grubby's Corner. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. And here's lightning, of course. Let's go this way for now. The sign says, Gone Fishing. Hey look, another trading card. Ugh, milkman. I guess if you're interested, you can sort of like pause to like read this stuff, or maybe like you know at the end I'll basically like, you know go through it. But you know, it's just probably there so you basically get like you know into like the world I guess of like Pajama Sam or Pajama Man I guess is the thing. That looks like a lot of funny putty. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. Oops, sorry, Mr. Nutcracker. I thank you. It was hard to breathe under such goop. Hey, look, it made a copy of your face. I guess Funny Potty really can copy a picture of anything. So can a box of crayons in hands of an artist. Yeah, but crayons don't stretch. Point taken. I guess Funny Potty truly is toy with thousand uses. Aha! Fizz and Puttons? Fizzy Poppins? That sort of feels like a structure of Mary Poppins, but whatever. Too bad that someone spilled water on me. Ew. Hi, my name's Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Balsa. Did you hurt your wing? Yeah, I banged it up a while ago. It can't be fixed. Does that mean you can't fly anymore? Actually, I never could fly. Why not? Because I only cost 39 cents. Funny. Well, those mushrooms aren't mold for us to take, I guess. Hello, I'm Sam. I'm very pleased to meet you. I am Nutcracker. I crack any and all nuts easily and efficiently. My, but you have big shiny teeth. Everyone in my family has such big teeth, even a little babushkas. Well, let's see if this guy can crack a peanut for us, I guess. 
Hey there, Mr. Nutcracker. My name is Sam, and I have a nut that needs opening. Yes, comrade. I can open any nut. I have opened nuts for all crowned heads of Europe. Here it is. Thank you much. Peanut is delicious. Here is leftover shell. I'd put it in my scrapbook if I had one, but I don't. So I'll just keep it in my pocket. You know, the kid. It sounds like a kid's voice is voicing this, but at the same time, it really goes to show. Sometimes you don't need a kid's voice for just a game. And now we have like the empty peanut cracker guy, I guess. Hi. What kind of toy are you? I'm a Bake Master 5000. Hey, my Aunt Beth got me a Bake Master 5000 once. I tried to cook a toasted cheese sandwich in it. I left it in there for days, and it never did cook. <laughs> wow, is it ever dark in here? I've got. Okay, this is where I need to, the fireflies to move around here, I guess. I don't think that's a good place to use funny putty. I don't think that's a good pl I don't think that. Is there anything else to do here, I wonder? And just make sure I can actually advance in here, right? I can't see a thing. I need something that will light up this place. Yeah, I can't actually do anything here, so I have to run, run back, so. I guess we're done in that area. I don't think that's a good place to use funny buttons. I don't think that's a good place to use funny putty. Well, I guess we're done here. Let's go this way, I guess. Grubby Corners Mall. Excuse me, how late is the mall open today? My comic book is in there and I have to get it back. This mall? Always open. 24 hours a day. That's very convenient. Yes, but rules strictly enforced. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Got it? No shirt? Yes, no shirt. You got no shirt, therefore no service. You won't be going to the mall till you get a shirt. I'm wearing pajamas. Is that close enough? The rules are very specific. Shirt required. I'm sure I could use this jar for something. Well, here's a jar for the fireflies. It has a lid and everything. Thank you for picking up litter. You're welcome. I would have removed that litter myself, but I have to stay here guarding the door. There's a trading card. Clementine. All right, well, let's just get going, I guess. Ouch! We've got to go up here. Hey! Wow! An ice cube! Is this where I use this for? I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. <laughs> There's Cardboard Woman. Uh, Alice is a villain, but whatever. What a weird swamp. It looks like someone spilled their soda pop here. Maybe I can wait across. Ew! It's all gooey and gucky. This spilled soda pop is a real mess. It's too yucky for me to wade through. Alright, so I get something to get through here, I guess. Like a peanut, maybe? Preparing to launch Peanut Boat. This is Pajama Sam, captain of the SS Peanut, ready to sail. 
Well, there we go, we found a way across right there. That looks like a big slingshot. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card. There's the Illuminator Mark V. I see lots of shoes here. There's a trading card. Admiral Peanut Butter. Oh no! Who made Peanut Butter the villain? That's the biggest shoehorn I've ever seen. I bet it's really, really loud. It's all clogged up. Ew, it's full of mold. No wonder it tastes funny. You gotta get the mold off. I'm not putting my lips on that again while it's so moldy. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Hey, this tree is full of shoes. I guess it's a shoe tree. <laughs> I wonder if they stay up there all the time. Hello? Shoes? Can you hear me up there? Hello? The guard said I needed shoes. I wish I could think of some way to get them down. I guess that's where the shoehorn basically comes in, I, in the play, I guess. You know, I find it interesting, we're basically in like, you know, a fetch quest. And we have to basically find out what the fetch quest basically is to start off with. You know, I get the feeling about like, just like slingshots for, like used like as a variation to get across that like, you know, soda area. a tree from below. Or maybe it is like still used here. Here goes. Yippee! I'm back here. Whoop, this guy's back. Hello. Oh, howdy there. My name's Sam. They call me the Happy Farmer. Nice day, isn't it? I guess so. It's as nice as any other. And that's pretty darn nice in my book. Some days it rains. Them days is nice too. I have to put on my wrapper then, but rain is nice. Rain's good for my crops. What sort of crops do you grow? Spaghetti and breadsticks. I don't have much space, you see, but that's nice too. It doesn't take as long to plow the field. But lately I switched to raising these bunnies. They're so cute. What kind of bunnies are they? Well, them's dust bunnies. They're fun to raise and they raise me a nice profit. I'm supposed to be able to shave them once a week and sell their wool. That's if I can ever catch them. It would be nice to catch them. Well, I guess that's not going to work. Yee-haw! I lost a new bunny, partner! Much obliged, Sam. And look at here. All the other bunnies are following. Wow, I must have lassoed the main bunny. Yep, you done did good. Now let's get these bunnies ready for shaving. Oh, 
This is a little bit excessive for animation, I think. Dust bunny yarn for you. Thought you might like some yarn for helping me out with the bunnies. Aha! Uh -huh. Pajama computer. I have to say, this is like very like you know sort of like Batman esque, and like his like his appearance. One, two, three, four, five cards. I think we're missing this point. Now you look like you need a shave. Well, I'm sure this fuzz will come off the next time my horse Ginger licks me. Horses like to lick me for some reason. I wonder why. Well, at least it saves me the trouble of having to take bath. Well, we have our yarn finally. They are so little under all that fur. Alright, well, I guess at this point we'll find the yarn, like, you know, thing here. Fire away! So we'll go this way to get ourselves a firefly. It wouldn't be nice to put the fireflies in my jar until I make some holes in the lid. They need holes so they can breathe. Okay, how do I get the holes? That's not something I can put in my jar. All right, here we are. Here's some yarn. It's bunny yarn. Oh, that's the best kind. It's soft and silky and it knits real fast. I'll knit a shirt just for you. Try it on. How? I guess I should have left at least one neck hole. Oh dear, this can't possibly fit you. But still, it's a very nice, um, shirt. I'm so sorry, young man. If only I had a pattern to work from, I know I could make you a fine shirt. I'll get you a pattern to work from. Does it have to be any particular kind of pattern? No, it has to show your specific size and shape. Of course. Is that where this comes in? This funny putty really stretches. Let's see if I can stretch it to be as tall as me. <laughs> wow, now my funny putty looks like me. I think I found a pattern. Will this do? That's quite a pattern you've got there. It's every bit as handsome as you. Aw, uh, gee, thanks. Thank you for bringing me such an excellent pattern. One shirt coming right up. Do you like it? It looks just great. Thanks for the compliment. I like your looks too. Oh, it likes you. You're a perfect fit for me, and vice versa. Gosh, thanks a bunch, Grandma. You're welcome, young man. You look pretty comfy in your jammies right now, Sam. 
Why don't you just hold on to me for later? Sounds good. All right, well, we got a shirt. One task is out of the way. So I have to figure out how to get through mold to this guy, I guess, next. That's not meant to wash clothes in. I you wonder know, what's up with, like, you know, this guy over here and his hose. I think I'm growing. I feel bigger. Wow! What a cool fire truck! I love fire trucks! All right, down we go. Hmm, what to use all the stuff basically for is a thing, I guess. I wonder if there's anything back here if they like, you know, get so. I brought a friend to see you. Hi. It's you. I thought I'd never see you again. I miss you plenty. How I wish I could be up there in the drawer with you, but I can't. I'm still all dirty. Sam, could you please take care of my friend until we can be reunited? Sure. Don't worry. We'll get you clean somehow, and then you can be with your friend again. Guess we're gonna like chat, and that's about it over here. Yeah, we're at that point where I'm actually sort of lost as to what I'm supposed to basically do. So, hmm. I have a shirt. Nice shirt. Just like the dress code requires. Come back when you have shoes and socks to match. Alright, well I guess I need to get like, you know, the other stuff now. It's as easy as falling off a log. More fun, too. Off we go, I guess. That's not something I can put in my jar. You know, it's at that point where I sort of like need to have like some sort of thing to like, you know, um, Basically, like, you know, hit the, like, the job, I'm not really sure how to do it. And I'm not really sure, like, what this is, like, used here for, or, like, you know, what this is going to be, like, used for in the future. Guess we'll go across the Soda River again.
That's not something I can put in my jar. The shoes are up too high. You know, I like how they have like different animations that actually like, you know, show them actually attempt to do stuff here. It wouldn't be very nice. It does actually show actually put a lot of work into making this game. Huh, I never came back here. Another card! The portable bad guy containment unit. Button. Hello? My name's Sam. What do you do? I am a bishop. Don hat. What kind of hat is that? They call it a mitre. I call it a nuisance. Once it fell off and poked me in the toe. to you ah <laughs> why how did that get there I say thank the young man thanks a lot I can't get over how pointy and sharp your hat is true I now have all the time in the world to use it shouldest thou ever needest holes poked in anything oh do you think you could poke holes in my jar lid now? <sighs> Certainly. Ow! My head! I think I'd better stop now. That's plenty of holes. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. Well, there's our um, firefly-like item. Hello, little guy. I'm Sam. I'm a pawn. Are pawns important in chess? We must be. We're the ones the other players capture first. Nice horsey. Hello. I think the lights are on, but nobody's home. If you catch my drift. Oh. Hello. My name is Sam. Just Sam? I'm Pajama Sam. Hmm. Members of the royal family do not associate with normal people like you. Her Royal Highness the Queen only talks to fellow royalty. And then only with an engraved invitation. What does that mean? It means you won't be talking to her. Oh. Hi there. Is that a real crown? Well, the king is too busy to speak with you. Yes, dear. Alright, so if I want to speak to him, I actually have to have, like, you know, um, some sort of royal tire, I guess. But whatever, we were basically done here. This is on act now, which is nice. Let's go get our fireflies, I guess. You know, overall, my impressions of this game is a lot better than, like, you know, um, the, like, you know, second and third title. I will say that. It's sort of like a chore to play this game, because, like, you know, I can't really skip by, like, you know, bits and um, pieces, like, you already, like, you know, seen like this. But, you know, it plays alright. Whoa! Firefly catching time. There we go. Like they're okay in there. Having a bee in your bonnet is bad, but having fireflies in your pocket is nice. I know it always throws me up here, but whatever. Get down. Go this way.
I can't remember if, like, you know, Pajama Sam is his accurate back in, like, the first game or not, but whatever. <laughs> I can't see a thing. I need something that will light up this place. And I have it. Look, I've got a shadow. These fireflies are the brightest bugs I've ever seen. I think they like the gum. My fireflies want to flee! Fireflies, be free! I'll just leave this here for the fireflies to use as a home. Look at that sucker! That is some sticky gum. Hey, what am I supposed to do here, I wonder? Now that's just silly. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Hey look! Another trading card! Not the grime! Something to make the gum less sticky. Mm. The fireflies might want that for a house. I'd better leave it here. Well, at least we uh, can see in there a little bit now. Why did you pop? I was playing with Kitty, and there was something sharp that I hit. There was a loud pop. I hope I didn't scare Kitty. My kitty likes to play with balloons too. Are those beans gonna grow into magical beanstalks? Nah. About all they'll do is get little blooming bean flowers, and that'll attract bean bees. I heard that bees are good for plants. Yeah, but just because I got plants growing out of me doesn't mean I have to like bees. What can you cook? Well, you can cook cupcakes and cookies and brownies if you buy the special packets of cupcake or cookie or brownie mix. What about broccoli? They don't make special packets of broccoli mix. Fine by me. Can I climb up there and look at your controls? Don't touch me. I'm just made of flimsy balsa wood. If you touched me, I'd fall apart. Hey. How is peanut shell holding up for you? I am always here, ready to crack if you have any more peanuts. Thank you. <sighs> Alright, well, the question now is where do I go? <laughs> I thought making yarn was going to be hard, but it looks easy. Wool goes in one end, and yarn comes out the other. It's as easy as falling off a log. More fun, too. That's part of the yarn making machine. The farmer needs that. Yeah, I need a lever, by the way, for like that, like, you know, machine that I have to operate. You know, one like this is gonna be the lever right here, do like, you know, lollipop, you know, over here. You know, I wonder if I actually used to, like, you know, the, um, net and, like, that mold. Let's go up and find out. I 
I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. That's annoying. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. Yo, know, more like this is like, you know, supposed to do anything for me, like this, like, you know, um, underwater, like, equipment here. It would be fun to get into that big water tank. I'd need to find a way to get over the glass, though. Fire truck's a lot cooler than my dad's brown car. That's a big fire truck and shiny too. I don't see anything for like the second lever though, so. Off we go, I guess. And up we go again. Whoa! So that takes me like down over there. I don't need another peanut. The one I have is just fine. So we'll go back down here. Hey, that lake looks like a big washing machine. I wonder if it's always this empty. Level needed here. All right. I'll let you know when I have something. <laughs> I don't want to get into trouble. I can't use that here. I don't think that's going to work. I don't want to get into trouble. I don't think that I can scoop I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I don't think that I can scoop. Yeah, we're at that point where I'm trying to use like the net and like everything I can to try and figure out where like you know where what's used for. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I don't think that I can scoop that up with. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I don't want to fall off that cliff. Oh, guess we go back this way. How are you down there, Sponge? Hungry. Have you thought of a way to get me out of here to go with you? No, not yet. Hi, Sponge. Hope you can find a way to get me out of here soon. I just can't wait for that sweet, tasty mold. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Is there anything else I, w I can actually do here, I wonder? There's lots to click on in here, at least. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. You know, it's it's kind of like odd, but I may actually have to like you know pause this recording just to find out how to like you know beat this game. 
That's always something up by like about the Pajama Sam Sam series. Some of these like, you know, puzzles are not that straightforward to sort of figure out. And I actually consider that to be sort of a negative than like rather than a positive, because like, you know, if a kid won't like, you know, figure out how to play, it's just gonna wanna like quit the game. And he does have the option to like save, load, Game games, stop. and stop. Song options. Huh, they actually have options for stuff here. So animation, background, music. Up song. A sock out on his own is like a sea without a Alright, well, I sort of asked for that. I got some mud on me, I can't get in my drawer. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair. I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see it. Oh good, pressing enter actually skips it, so that's good enough. So it's like just a game to sort of like, you know... I'm a climbing fool! Phew! Don't look down, Sam. I'm coming up in the world! Yikes! See, that guy can like knock you off if you're not careful. So obviously I'm missing some sort of game here, by the way. Hmm. Whoops. Well, we can press the enter to skip stuff, so that's good now. I don't see anything I click on here, so... Off we go. I got the ice cube that time, by the way. I wonder what the ice cube basically does for me. My ice cube melted. Hello there. It's no use trying to talk to a rook. It's like talking to a brick wall. I don't think this melted ice cube is going to be of any use. This melted ice cube is just not good for much. I don't think this melted ice cube is going to be of any use. I wonder what would make those shoes come down. We need the spunk facing for act right there, by the way. There's a fro out there. What's a pond's favorite song? Way down upon the Pawnee River! I guess we'll go back this way for now. Yeah, maybe the water can be used for the gum. Let's figure out if that does anything. That ice cube is all melted. I don't think it'll do much. It's not cold enough. Hmm. The fireflies might 
wouldn't want that for a house. I'd better leave it here. The ice cube's back apparently over here, by the way. This is a time based thing, you have to like, you know, this bridge directly here. Sometimes cold gum is less sticky. That did it, all right. All right, well, we can advance now. I got the sucker. Yay! I bet this is going to be used as a lever, so. Let's get to it. You know, one thing I would say about this game is like, you know, it's a little bit choppy, like, you know, some of the animation, like, sequences, when they're, like, you know, they're skipping through them. This sucker is about the same size as the other lever. to work and stuff. Thanks a bunch for fixing it. You're welcome. And you fixed it just in time for my coffee break. How'd you like to keep an eye on the crane for a few minutes? Like to? I'd love to! Well, in you go. Okay, gotta make the trash go away. So, uh, what type of game is this? Oh, it's time-based. I need to make three of the same kind of junk in a row. Seriously? Do you got this type of game, basically? Max three, let's go. I can't do a thing of that, so. Make three. The stinko meter's getting dangerously low. I gotta hurry and make three in a row. Hey, yeah, four right there. So I gotta think better score right there. Click on the wild card. Not sure what that does, but you know, wild card. The stinko meter's getting di Click on two pieces of junk that are next to each other. I gotta hurry and make three in a row. Oh, we got a lot of score for that one. I like how it just gives you hints by the way to sort of help you out. The stinko meter makes three of the same kind of junk in a row. And they will disappear. I gotta hurry and make three in a click on the wild card. So they are actually having trouble because like, you know, get some help click in the game. Two pieces of junk that are next to each other to switch them. I wonder when the wild card basically happens if it's like, you know, 
guaranteed to sort of happen at a certain point, so like, you know, the same kind of junk in a row. you and can at least keep disappear. matching stuff, like, you know, um, sort of like, you know, in the game. Click on the wild card! I wonder if that brings us into, like, the, like, the green or something. Is that, like, the idea here or not? Click on the wild card! Bonus! We're getting nice and green. Bonus. Click on the wild card. I wonder if like, the scheme mirror is like, going really down now. The getting dangerously low. Well, I guess the point of the game is just to clear as much as possible to like, you know, get your score up as much as possible, but whatever. The waves have a gentle washing action. Hey look! I found you the biggest washing machine you ever saw! Wow, that is big, and wet, and soapy. Geronimo! That felt good. I'm glad you liked it. It was fun to watch, too. I haven't been this clean since, well, I don't know when. I'll try not to get you dirty before I get you back with your friend. Alright, well, there we go. We got ourselves a sock. I bet I could wash stuff in there. This lake looks a lot prettier with water in it. Looks more useful, too. I bet this makes us do the game again. Okay, gotta make the trash go away. I can quit that if I need to though, so that's fine. Now, this sort of begs the question, how am I supposed to get the, like, you know, mold basically, like, dealt with is the thing, right? A peanut is a peanut is a peanut. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Hey there, Sponge. Hiya. I'll give you a hello kiss, but you're not moldy enough. I like the taste of mold. I know where there's a big bunch of mold just for you. Wow! Mold? For me? Yep. Care to come along? Oh boy! Mold, 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 mold. Uh, I don't suppose you can jump all the way out here, can you? Nope. That's one thing we sponges can't do, is jump. Oh, I guess I need to find a way to get down to you then. Well, you're pretty smart. I'm sure you'll think of a way. Mm, no. mm. I know where there's a big bunch of mold just for you. Oh boy, mold! Come and get me, Sam. <laughs> Well, 
Hello. Bonjour, petit pajama person. I am Jacques Scuba, the famous underwater explorer. Aren't you getting soggy in there? This waterproof suit and me big helmet are keeping me high and dry. I am dry as a bone. Can you dive all the way to the bottom of the fish tank? There are not many other places I can go dressed like this. But in the fish tank, I am the well-dressed man about town. That makes sense, in a way. Exploring the underwater kingdom is my passion. I am married to the sea. I have no idea what you mean by that. But I think your big helmet's cool. Oui, it is the latest fashion in diver helmets. This suit is quite nice as well. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Do you know sponge? Oui. Sometimes the sponge will clean the mold off of the glass on my helmet. The sponge loves the mold. That is good because I do not like the mold. Do you think you could bring sponge to me? I know a certain place where there's plenty of mold for it. Oui. It would be my pleasure. Oh boy. Mold, here I come! Here is the sponge! Thanks a bunch, Mr. Scubo. You're welcome. I am here whenever you want to hear of the beauty of the incredibly awe-inspiring underwater kingdom. Well, we finally got the sponge. It took a little bit to basically get him, but whatever. I got him. That guy's not like busy up. Alright, sock time. Hello, my matching sock. I'm home. I'm so glad you're here. Are you clean enough to come in? Clean as a whistle. Hooray! <laughs> Sam, thanks a million for cleaning me. And thanks two million for bringing my best friend back. Sam, you're a great friend. Yes, Sam, you're a great friend. Thanks. Would you two like to go exploring with me? Well, okay, as long as we don't have to do any walking. And I haven't been out of that drawer in ages. Then hop into my pocket and we'll be off. Alright, let's get the shoes, I guess. I'll bet that mall guard will be happy to see you. You can count on us for help if you ever need a clean pair of socks. I bet if you talk to the guard, he'll be like, you know, Good job, you have socks. Now get his shoes. Looky here. I have a shirt and I have socks. Sorry, but I can't let you go in without shoes. That's the rule. Please obey the mall shoe rule. So let's go get shoes. Alright, here's the mold. Oh boy, oh boy. I smell mold. Mold, 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 mold. Where's the mold? There? There! There's mold in that shoehorn. Delicious. Where's the mold? Wow! Did you eat all that mold? All of it! Mold's all gone! Mold all gone! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I ate the whole thing! I think I better go lie down now. Thank you. I'm glad the sponge liked the taste of mold, because I sure don't. I can see my reflection. I guess it's clean enough now. I'm glad this net has a long handle. They like me. I think I'll keep them. The mall guard will want to see these. Alright, well. Socks, shoes, and shirt.
Oh, interesting. So, if I want to, I can actually take this peanut back as well. That's good enough. Look, everyone wants to get in the mall today. I have to enforce the rules, or it would be pandemonium. This is an orderly mall. Even on a crowded day like today. Huge crowd expected today. Why is the mall so crowded today? Something about some Dr. Grime guy signing something. Local kids want to see him. Why, I wouldn't know. I'm just a guard. Oh. I'm a good guard. Not so fast. Hold it right there, Buster. Yes? I want to see your shirt. Hello! And shoes. And you better have socks, too. Hello, officer. Howdy, officer. Hmm. Shirt, shoes, socks. Well, kid, it looks like you're in total compliance with our dress code. You're a good citizen. Enjoy your shopping experience. Yes, sir. Alright, well, we finally made it to the mall. Are we there yet? We're here! Inside the Grubby Corners Mall! Hooray! It's shopping time! I can shop for a lint brush! Thanks for the lift, Sam. We're off to shop. See you later! Bye! Leavings and Squeezins! Welcome to Leavings and Squeezins, the fabulous house of pizza. Do you want to see a menu? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card! So they're a serious bowler. So it looks like I'm missing a couple cards, but you know, we got like most of them. Hey look! Another trading card! There's Dr. Scott um, Boovers. Congratulations, sir. You are our lucky 30th customer. Yay! What do I win? You win this fantastical special prize winner pass. It is a great honor to win this prize. It is printed on durable paper and is sure to bring you hours of fun for years to come. Enjoy your special prize winner pass. I wonder what I can use this for. Oh well, I'll hold on to it. All right, well, interesting. The tomatoes are nice and red. Why don't you try some? My collection. I have officially found them all. Yay! Well, there we go. Congratulations! You found all the Pajama Man trading cards. So, best way to basically get when you like get them all, I guess. Well, why didn't you say you had a special prize winner pass? You're special, and you're a prize winner, so you can pass. Please go to the head of the line immediately. Hey, look! It's Dr. Grime! Huh? What? Where? Look! It's Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime, will you shine my hanky? Will you shine my underwear? I'm not Dr. Grime! I'm Pajama Sam! Hey, keep that line straight. Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime! I said I'm not Dr. Grime! Hey, no touching! Dr. 
Prime. Yikes! <sighs> there it is! Issue number one, I found you at last. Holy cow! How did I get so dirty today? I'm as dirty as Dr. Grime! Maybe dirtier! No wonder those kids thought I was him! I need to clean myself up. I can't get past those kids while I look like Dr. Grime. Also, I don't want to handle my comic book while I'm all dirty or it'll get all dirty. I wonder if there's anything I can wash with here. This room doesn't have a sink. It looks like the only way I could get some water is from that fire sprinkler up there. I bet if I could get that sprinkler to turn on, it would wash me right off. This should keep Pajama Man number one from getting wet. All right, I can play again. Maybe if I move the dresser over, I can climb on that to reach the sprinkler. Rats! It's too heavy to move. I guess that won't work. I can't go out there or those crazed crime fans will get me. I'm your friendly local humans and squeezins delivery person. Does Dr. Grime want anything? Not right now, thank you. Okay, I'll just leave this menu in case you change your mind. You know, I have to say, it's kind of interesting how they sort of like, sort of have like an endgame sequence for this game. This isn't a very fancy menu. I can only order four different things. Cold string beans? Frozen eggs? Iced bacon? Or hot cocoa? I'm not hungry right now. Hey! Where does that go? It looks like I can just barely squeeze in there. This is a tight squeeze. I'm a round boy in a square duct. I better suck in my tummy. Ta-da! Interesting. I'm right next to the sprinkler now. I'm right next to the sprinkler now. Um, okay. Pajama Sam, defender of the weak and helpless. That sprinkler would wash me clean, I'll bet. Hmm, if only I can find a way to turn it on. You know, I wonder. One humongous hot cocoa, please. Who is it? Your favorite leavings and squeezings delivery person with your order. Thank you. Enjoy your fine food with our compliments. You have excellent taste. Have a nice day, sir. This hot cocoa lives up to its name. It's really hot. In fact, it's too hot to drink right now. 
Alright, All right, well, let's just finish off this, like, you know, part of the game here. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be doing this. And I certainly wouldn't advise any of my friends to do this. I hope this is hot enough. What's this? Water is falling from the sky. It feels so good to be clean. Hey, no squash. You're not Dr. Grime. Who are you? I am the squeaky clean hero, Pajama Sam. Today, I came dangerously close to turning dirty. But from today on, I shall fight the forces of dirt and strive for cleanliness in all that I do. Kid, you're a good citizen. Well, I learned one thing. From now on, I'm going to keep my room more picked up so I won't lose anything else this important. And if I do, it will sure be easier to find it. I'm going to be just like Pajama Man and keep the forces of grime at bay. Hey, is that a rare Pajama Man issue number one? Yes, indeed. It is the very rare Pajama Man issue number one in mint condition in its plastic bag. Today I was going to take it to get it autographed by Pajama Man himself and... Oh my gosh! I almost forgot about that! I gotta hurry and meet him before he's gone! Mom! <laughs> Wait for me! Is this the end? All right. Well, I have to say, um, it really does like show like you know when you change the voice for the character, it really like you know matters who you basically get to like you know be the voice. I think this game was like you know it, it had a lot of good like content to it, but you know it was let down by like the voice of Pajama and like you know Sam there. Like they had a better uh, uh, voice actor for the you know the first three games, and then like you know this one was just not as good. But whatever. Um, I will say that I think that this had a lot of, like, you know, interesting ideas. In terms of, like, you know, how to, like, sort of progress around. I think it's a little bit hard to sort of like, figure out basically how to do it. And, like, you know, some aspects of the game could have been done a little bit better. Like, you know, it took me forever to figure out how to, how to get the mold basically out. Um, the ice cube seemed to be a little bit, like, you know, um... Which I would say, you probably have to be a little bit older, like, you know, in the old range of, like, you know, 3 to 8 to, like, you know, sort of figure out that one out, but whatever. Well, all that's left is basically to see who was, like, you know, behind the server sure credits here, I guess. Alright, I don't see, like, an end, like, you know, sort of thing here, by the way, so... I guess we're expected to go through this, and, like, you know, after that we're just done. So apparently Nathan Rosenberg did a sock musical. You know, more of like a villain like Earthquaker and like, you know, the dust like guy right there. And Alicia Ferguson is apparently the voice, by the way. But I wonder, like, you know, the like villains basically for like this game was like sort of like you know inspired by like you know sort of like you know um, the like more like you know west side of like you know America. Because basically, like, you know, the earthquake would be like you know sort of like symbolism for like you know the earthquakes that basically go down the west coast of like you know the continent. And everything else is uh, you know sort of generic or whatever. Slowly but surely we wait for us to finish.
Would you like to restart the game? No. Alright, well. That was basically it for the Pajama Sam series of, like, games. Um, I'll note that basically in comparison to, like, Putt-Putt, I think these games were, like, you know, not as good, but, you know... That's what it's possibly like, you know, sort of like the age demographic they're sort of going for, I guess, perhaps, being like the sort of issue here. Though, I have to really say, like, you know, um, the main problems I basically have, like, the Pajama Sims is this, like, sort of navigation, like, you know, figuring out what you have to basically do. But other than that, you know, whatever, we're basically done. Hope you guys basically enjoyed the video, and take care.